Jungle Explorer here again with Oh Hi Shop. There's food production going on over there. Or male bonding or whatever. <laughs> hey, shh, stop it. Okay, Jungle Explorer here again with another ammunition review. Yeah, I got some roosters. Um, okay. Hey, Jungle Explorer here again with another ammunition review. Uh, today we're going to be comparing the uh, Aguila 22 Subsonic 40 grain solid point to the CCI Quiet uh, 40 grain uh, round point or lead point bullet. Um, I did a review on the CCI Quiets uh, a while ago and a lot of people liked it. But some people asked me to compare the two side by side. And uh, so I finally found some of these and uh, I'm going to get around to that review as soon as these roosters will quit crowing there. <laughs> yeah, I've got some chickens. So anyways, I'm going to be using the... I'm going to be using the Ruger 1022 today, um, if I can keep a straight face. This is funny, these roosters crowing on me here. Well, let's go over here and look at them. Maybe they want some attention. Now, you want to see a pretty rooster. Let me show you this guy right here. Look at that. That is a cross between a golden duckwing and a Kubalaya Cuban game pal. And uh, just a really pretty rooster. I crossed him myself. And so maybe I get over here. Hey, 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 stop that. I'm trying to record here. All right, guys, go to laying eggs. Maybe I gave him some attention that'll leave me alone. Well, I guess not. Well, let's try to get through this. Jungle Explorer here with another ammunition review. A while back, uh, I did a review for the CCI Quiet, 22 Long Rifle Quiet, and uh, a lot of people like that review. And so I'm going to do another review because some people asked me to compare the CCI Quiet to the uh, Aguila 22 Subsonic. Uh, both of these bullets are a 40 grain uh, subsonic bullet. Um, the Quiet claims that it has a unique powder that makes it quieter. Um, and I've not been able to put it up against this. I haven't tried this out. I just got this box. And so I'm going to do this because it was requested of me. And hopefully uh, we'll learn something from it. So I have my uh, 22 uh, Ruger 1022 here. I've loaded five rounds of Aguila Subsonic in here. And behind that, I've got five rounds of uh, the CCI Quiet. Uh, so I've got my chronograph going over here. I'm going to go ahead and reset it to zero. Going to set up my uh, recording here so you guys can see what's going on. And we're going to go ahead and fire the five Aguila here. Get that round out of there. Safety off. Round one Aguila. 10.43. Oh, well, it won't cycle, so was able to eject the shell of round two Aguila. 1059. Round three. 1026. Ooh, that one actually did cycle, so. Okay, that was that would have been round four. 1038. One of the bullets actually did cycle without me pulling.
pulling the jacking the slide there so we'll just do with four rounds uh, now fellas I'll drop it out and put that back in there okay that there was a CCI quiet got that all right so let's go round five oops I got to put this back in that would make a lot better sense wouldn't it okay round five 10 15 so there you have the uh, five Aguila rounds now we're going to do the uh, CCI quiet and again it cycled so let's do CCI quiet now 753 766 747 now on the CCI quiet you have to cycle you have to manually jack the slide each time Seven eighty one, and seven thirty six. So um, there you have it. Um, the the two side by side. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to load the bullets intermediately. So we get a side-by-side -side comparison of the sound. Um, the sound of the Aguila is definitely a lot louder. Um, it's subsonic, so it doesn't have the sonic boom to it. But the CCI Quiet is, I would say, making only 30 to 40 percent of the, uh, the sound of the Aguila. Okay, so one Aguila, one CCI Quiet. One Aguila, one CCI Quiet. One Aguila, one CCI Quiet. Six bullets. So CCI Quiet's going to be our first round on this. All right. Now listen to the sound here. Okay, this is the Aguila, much louder, a lot faster velocity, but way louder. Um, I would say it's probably three quarters uh, as loud as a normal 22 bullet. And that seems to be a problem with these Aguilas. They cycle sometimes and sometimes they don't. Um, this is going to be another Aguila. There's actually a report I can hear in the trees, an echoing. Um, so it, it's, it's quite loud. Now this is going to be the CCI quiet. Much quieter. One more Aguila. And one CCI quiet. Well, all right. Oh, well, I guess I'm out of it. Now, the problem I'm seeing with the Aguilas, at least in this gun, um, in, in the Ruger 1022, is that sometimes they are cycling and sometimes they don't cycle. So you're never knowing whether to eject a shell and put one in. They are more powerful. They're about 200 feet per second more power out of them, um, but they're a lot louder. I mean, just the, the, the actually in person here, the uh, noise level is quite significant from the, uh, the CCI Quiet. Um, the great thing with the CCI Quiet in a semi-auto is 
that it will never cycle the shale. It's not going to cycle it. So you know that you actually have to manually, it's basically, basically turning your semi-auto into a bolt action rifle. <coughs> and so, you know, this is a common rifle. You know, if you're going to use it in a bolt action rifle, say, like my uh, Remington Target Master over here, that wouldn't be a problem. And just for uh, comparison's sake, I'm going to go ahead and run some Aguila through the uh, Remington Target Master here. And see what the difference is on velocity 1048 now I have to tell you that it's actually significantly quieter quieter um, out of this rifle than it is the Ruger 1022 it's still louder than the uh, CCI quiet but uh, actually this this gun quiets the uh, Aguila down significantly I'd say there's at least a 40% reduction of sound uh, on this versus uh, in this gun versus the uh, Ruger 1022 yeah still a lot louder still a lot louder than the uh, than the CCI quiet but uh, I would say only maybe 20 20 to 30 percent louder than the CCI quiet out of this so um, it is quieter, but it's, I would not consider it to be a stealth ammo um, that could be used in any urban uh, environment um, legally uh, without, without detection. You might get away with it, but it is definitely, especially out of the Ruger 1022, is definitely something you could hear. Um, you might get away with it out of a longer rifle uh, bolt action uh, like the Remington target. If stealth is, is your premium a, a, a objective, I would say use the CCI quiet. The Aquila is a great ammunition, um, but there's very little advantage of using it, especially out of the 1022, uh, say over your standard velocity or your high velocity. Um, it's, it's not giving you that kind of a, an, a, a stealth edge. Uh, it does give it a, a little bit advantage out of the uh, the Remington Target Master, but in both cases, the CCI Quiet would be my choice for clandestine or stealth um, usage of the uh, of a 22 round. I'm going to go ahead uh, and post the stats for the Aguila. I'm going to post the, uh, the the stats for it up here, and so you can see what the average velocity was out of the Aguila and the foot-pounds of energy. Uh, for the uh, CCI Quiet, I'm going to go ahead and post the stats up here so you can see what the stats for it for average foot per second and for energy out of it. And there you have it, the review of or the comparison of the Aguila Subsonic with the CCI Quiet. If this video has been helpful and you've enjoyed it, please let me know. Uh, send me a, a like, uh, subscribe, and send me a comment on uh, what you would like me to test next. Uh, every now and then, uh, if you get a chance, I'll put some ammunition together and test it out for you. Okay, this is Jungle Explorer signing out.